Hello. Uh, today is the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and Companions, the Martyrs. Um, in, uh, in many ways, uh, Charles reminds me of, of, of the Buddhist monks uh, during the, the Vietnam War, who, as, as the ultimate act of, of uh, civil disobedience or, or protest uh, against the uh, Vietnam War, literally set themselves on fire and, and, and um, to draw attention to this. And, and, and not that, that Charles or the other martyrs were, 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 were doing this as a defiant act of civil disobedience. In, in many ways, it kind of was in that, that they were given an opportunity to, to, to disavow their, their faith. And they said, no. You know, and... and, and uh, and when when Charles, uh, when when his executioner, you know, said, you know, that he would be burned slowly, it would be a slow death. Uh, you know, try for a moment for you know for us to to put ourselves in in his place. Um, I can promise you that that in that moment, I'd, I'd love to say that I'd be calm and 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 would would you know. It's not, wouldn't be my my first response. I think I'd be angry. I think I'd be, you know, there'd be that disillusionment. There'd be all these kinds of feelings. And, and instead, you know, um, you know, he responds that he's glad to be dr uh, dying for the true faith um, and calmly went about it, you know, and... Uh, And there wasn't any, you know, hostility. There was no anger, you know, against the, you know, his oppressors. You know, instead there was calm. And, uh, you know, and that certainly goes hand in hand with our, our, our gospel today, you know. And, you know, to love God with all your heart, with all your understanding, all your strength, to love your neighbor as yourself. To, you know, there's that, that to love your neighbor as yourself. And certainly we have the ultimate example there uh, with, with, with Charles that, that, you know, even in death, you know, uh, was not cursing his executioner or, or any of his oppressors or... or or shouting big, you know, he just was prayerful and, and, and accepted his fate and said, you know what, I'm, I'm dying for, for, for the one true God. And, and, you know, that's fascinating to me. Um, and it's certainly a, an example for all of us today. And I think it's what we're called to today is, is to ask ourselves a very simple question, which is, you know, who is my neighbor? You know, who am I being called uh, to love uh, as, as, as I love myself? You know, that um, perhaps I don't have a, a, an oppressor uh, who's, who's going to put me to death, but I do have plenty of people um, who are more challenging uh, than convenient. There, there are people that I can love in my family and my friends and in college, you know, whoever that... that that's just easy. You know, I can pray for them every day and, and, and hope that for the very best. And there's some people who, who I'd rather not think of in prayer because there there's an aggravation, there's there's a frustration, there's there's a there's disappointment, hurt feelings and, and whatever. Um, um, and I'm not actually thinking of anyone in particular today, but you know, there's there are, you know, there there usually are if if especially if I think about it. Um and what today's gospel is calling us to, and, and what the example of, of, of today's memorial is calling us to, is to say, who are the people that 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 are more challenging to me, that, that, that I don't enjoy as much, or, or that are a frustration, you know, and, and, and how can I bring them to prayer so that I can, I can love them as I'm called to, um, by again by today's gospel and, and, and by the example of today's memorial that 
you know, who in my life um, needs to see love from me, um, and perhaps who do I need to bring uh, more intimately into my prayer life um, so that I can prepare myself to show that person more love and kindness, you know. Um, I, uh, I, I'll, I'll very briefly and be done for the day is, you know, I, I for, for, I think, four years in a row in Lenten Journal talked about my neighbor that I have a shared driveway and there's all this frustration around the winter time with, you know, I had this great experience of, of, of you know, a, a dishwasher that had broken and that neighbor who, who was so unhelpful with, with, with the driveway and all these other kinds of low things extend himself in such a way, you know, where, where, where I look at it now and, 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 and I have this opportunity, but I have this opportunity with them where I get along really well with both of them and, and, and look forward to seeing, you know, both of them in the driveway and say hello and see how they're doing and all. And, and, uh, I have that because, because it was, it was, it was, it was a frustration and, and they were, they were, they really got under my skin. And, and so, you know, for me as a person of faith, I, I, it didn't just happen either. Like I brought, uh, I brought them to prayer on, on a regular basis because I didn't want to be an angry person. I didn't want to look at them with resentment. And there wasn't a lot I could do to address it at the time. So what I can do is I can bring them to prayer every day you know, and, and, and make sure that I'm doing everything to prepare myself so that when an opportunity does present itself, I can be spiritually fit. Um, you know, and I think, again, that's what, what I feel called to by today's gospel and, and, and the example we have uh, today. So with that, uh, I wish you all the very best. Um, I was just, uh, I'm recording this early. It's Sunday for me now, and I'm recording. Standing in the gathering space and watching people uh, who who are masked and many who are not um, come in, and, and it's feeling more and more uh, like people are getting more and more comfortable coming back. And and I hope for many of you that is your experience. And if it's not, you know, I'll see you on here again next week. Uh, but I hope that as, as the weather warms and as, as, as more and more of us are vaccinated that you feel comfortable and at home uh, here. Um, so with that, I wish you the very best, and I will see you soon.